in this tutorial we're going to create a forest scene so right here is example we can see we start with the basic modeling in our terrain we'll go over all this materials assignment adding water and of course we'll go from different lighting effects until we finish kind of creating the one if, um, forest so again you can add more details to this and after this we'll go inside the photoshop just to retouching again that one will be optional and here is our scenery with lighting setup so hopefully that will give you some inspiration to create your own um, scenery your own kind of epic landscape and forest view before we start modeling let's set properties for our main camera um, in advanced camera options so we don't have this fluctuation in a lighting and its camera try to adjust when i do in a forest with shadows and everything i want to see precise lighting that i'm creating and not necessary after adjustment so for this we'll go into film settings camera advanced camera options and we'll disable after exposure and as well as a filter which says no exposure filter so we'll just disable all of these properties let's click ok this way we protect ourselves from um, have a kind of play with lightings and I may show in a, when we start creating trees I may enable the options to show you what's happening when you have it after exposure um, let's go create terrain and we'll just create a basic high field terrain and it's a little bit too much so I will go shrink it and when I do this it's shrink it in um, X and Y in about 50 we can also go and get an object properties and right here you can see it is 170 meters actually i want let's make 50 by 50 meters okay. and we also can take height and take height a little bit down okay this is our start terrain we can work around now we can go to edit this object or go inside the terrain editor and you can see this is our basic terrain if you're not sure where is the camera located from which area you want to do you can go ahead and enable show entire scenery and you can see right here camera from our right side we can disable and just for now let's create a bump right here so we know when we position okay this is our terrain and it's set zero edges but because i want to create a river going kind of through the forest i want to disable those zero edges so we'll have it all flat area okay the next things i want to create it is um, actually draw the river going to this area and i don't want to drop all the way down on the ground so we're going to just take this minimum increase maybe clip 20 centimeters approximately we'll go enable our clipping zone so we can see where they're located and mostly terrain actually above this level and we can pop up a little bit higher 50 centimeters okay and now till that is selected we want to be sure our constraint to clipping range is enabled we'll go to invert about three meters i think will work okay and at this point i can go and draw my river i'll go increase flow a little bit higher for the faster effect i can go around there and we'll just draw behind so overall what i'm doing right now i'm creating line of the river that if we're going to create from camera this point we can see river go but edge will be lost we're kind of hiding from viewer where's the river going so it will be look more natural okay let's create about here and we're going to the front of the camera okay as we work around you can see the river water going uh, kind of around this um, small step of the ground and usually this right one side as river going bend around this will be more cliff look and this should be a little bit more flat for the flat we'll just decrease um, our flow and increase a little bit size to five meters and i want to just take this edge and make it a little bit flatter so it's look 
like water kind of wash out some sand from this element. And we'll look, it'll still be a bit too high. Let's make smaller. Okay, I think that look better. We also can take this constraint, take down around this area. Okay, effect and click on diffuse a few times. So as we click on diffuse, it is applying just in this area where we constrain. So if we increase, you can see that we have it smoother. Just remove some stuff here, but we don't touch top one. Okay, let's go actually smooth even more. Just around there. And let's look a little bit better. Okay, and next thing is what we want to do after we disable our clip. We want to create uh, encapsulation. So what is meaning in encapsulation? We want to create these edges taller because when we look from the camera, we come closer. Some of this we can gun down and we can see um, edges, but if we increase them and put trees, they will hide from viewer those edges. So for this, we'll say select and we'll just start increasing. And when I'm increasing, what I like to do mostly it is um, increase the edges so they hide a little bit better and create a kind of layers almost. So we have right first one you can see we can add a little bit layer here. However, next one I want a little bit higher and we'll have another reach going here even higher. So when we're putting plants and this is way higher. So let's go like this. So when we start placing plants and we look from this, we have this dimension now. So we have one hill, second, third, and so on. And this will give it us more perspective and a depth in our uh, scenery. So let's go increase just a little bit right in this area. Okay, and maybe pop up right there so we can put trees and kind of hiding. Okay, a little bit right around there, just in case if we want to have trees. But usually we will cover this and maybe even put a tree some on the back. You know, maybe, yeah, let's do this. Let's go back and pop up so we'll have it illusion like it's trees on the back. Okay, we can come closer. So we have a cliffy look right there. A little bit shallow, maybe this will be um, a little bit going down. Right around camera again because the camera will look from this point. You know, just decrease. Okay. And right there. Okay, again, this is terrain. You don't necessarily need to do exactly the same terrain, just give you some ideas um, what we can do. Um, our river bed is kind of flat, so let's make smaller and just make small bumps. Again, they're not necessary, but they do add details when we start maybe placing rocks there or other elements. And let's just a little bit on the side. There you go. Just make it cliffy. Okay, right here, this one is a little bit taller, I think, for me. So I'm going to reduce. Same, same idea what we did on this side. We have one layer, second, third, so we can see this depth kind of. And I think this is good. Let's go ahead, click OK. Here's our basic terrain. We'll take our main camera, bring up. And camera 1.2 meters, so obviously this terrain is a little bit too tall. I'm just squished a little bit from the effect. Okay, we'll go select our camera. And let's move position about where I want to be you. 
Here if we look it's a little bit too bright again so we have it nice and exposure everything. Now I know that with my lighting um, I need to modify so we'll go to atmosphere editor for the matrix okay it's, it's a little bit darker okay and as well I want to take my sun and bring it a little bit on a side down we will readjust our lighting but for this I just want to see the shadows how they were going okay there's our terrain we created um let's actually take camera and just pan around slightly see from what angle we want to do the one we don't want edge so at least camera need to be about right here on this end we could give it a little bit English angle like this okay I think that will work well and you know what for the water we're actually going to create a cube I don't want infinity water and this cube will be our water layer so we'll go expand to cover our river and we'll take and bring down and we're right there and actually I like it right here a little bit ground okay so let's go ahead we'll switch these two um, liquids for now and we can just clear water you can see we have it before we modify basic we'll put it all of these elements around so we can see I think basic shape modeling we're done for now it's good time to save your work and and next we'll start working on some texturing and probably adding rocks and other elements